and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Hold on, we need action. All right, hi folks, I'm Bob Shaw, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. We are the most famous physical therapists on the internet. In our opinion, of course. In our Bob. humble opinion. Today, we're going to talk about why do my traps hurt and how to stop that pain. So when we say traps, what are we talking about, Brad? Like trap shooting? No. Oh. The trapezius. The trapezius muscles in the back goes from there. It's like a big, broad fan of muscles from the neck all the way down to. Well, watch around just for a second while well, you got the backpack on. Maybe show on me. So sure, you got the yeah. upper trapezius. So they, they start here and they attach down to the scapula and then all the way down to here. On both sides, this whole area is traps, upper, middle, and lower traps. There we go. Very broad and band. A lot of people get pain in those areas. You get knots in those areas. Yes, I, trigger I get, points. It's one of the areas where I tend to get pain. And Very I, it's, it's miserable. Mm -hmm. So, By the way, if you're new to our oh. channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos on Stay Healthy, Fit, Pain Free, and we upload every day. Also, you always want to join us on our social media channels and probably check out our website because we're always giving something away. Right now, we're giving away a Veridesk. What is this called? Pro Plus 36. 36 yes. So this Adjustable is, workstation for computers. Yeah, I'll show it just in a minute here. Uh, go to bobandbrad.com and go to the giveaway section, and we always have it listed there. Or you go to Bob and Brad on Facebook. Right. And we usually have it pinned to the top of the page. That was very smooth today, Bob. You must have been practicing over the weekend. Well, I thought it was always smooth. <laughs> but here, I'll just show this real quick. So this has, we said 10. It actually has 11 different levels. Right. So... Yeah, I'm just using a the handle there to squeeze it up, and it's these are really well made. Right, this company they're they're the leader in this area. Right. It's, it's a doubt. commercial duty made for someone working every day. And by the way, this is going to help your traps, right? Because yeah. it promotes good posture. Yeah, and if your posture is poor, your traps are going to let you know. Right, you're kind of jumping ahead on me, Brad. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> So that's the question. It was, why do they hurt? Well, a lot of the pain is coming from, I'm going to grab a spine, Brad, if that's all right with you. Yeah. Grab one for me, too. I need a, I need some spine. I'll probably give you a spine, too, because we have an extra one. So the pain, when you get pain down that area, surprisingly, can also become coming from the neck. Oh, uh, yeah. So the neck can refer pain down into the that area here. So it could be from poor neck posture. Or it could also be from poor posture in the area itself, right? In that upper back. Right. So I always think of it as if there's a issue in the spine, the muscles surrounding that area, the pain can refer out and then the muscles contract up as a result and respond to that tightness. And then you get those knots. So if you take care of the spine, the inherently knots, the, the knots, knots go, go away. away. Right. So it's not in the muscle per se. It's not a muscle problem because mm -hmm. a lot of times it jumps around. Right. And so if it jumped around, jumps around, it can't be the muscle because the muscle, if it hurt, it would always be in the muscle. Right. So in other words, it may hurt on your the left trap, and then another hour later, it may hurt on the right side. Right, or even a little bit different spot right. on the right mm -hmm. side. But, I mean, the, the whole thing to say here is it's all caused by bad posture. Sure. I mean, I think universally we can almost say that, you know, with the exception of maybe some type of injuries. Right. But, you know, and the bad posture is usually that forward head yep. rounded upper back posture. And that's really going to that's really going to start burning after a while if you if you stay in that posture. And a lot of people don't realize they're in that posture because after you've done this for a couple of years, it feels normal to you. Right. What feels abnormal is when you get up into a normal right. posture. So we're going to show you some quick things to try to help uh, take away the pain. One thing that helps me tremendously is using the Thermatex infrared heating system here. So, but the key is one of the key things is with this is how it's put on and right. what it does. It has these nice wide elastic straps that to hold the Thermatex uh, heating uh, device on it pulls your shoulders back. I mean, it's not like it's pulling them hard, but it pulls them back enough so it reminds you. As a great reminder. To, to keep that posture and then at the same time gets deep heated to the muscles as well as into the spine, uh, allowing things to relax and get better circulation. You're right, Brad. It's the two things, like when I'm having trouble, like if I'm sitting at, for a while and I start getting pain there, I have to correct the posture, right. which this helps me do, but it also gets some heat in there, which helps take away the pain. Sure. So the reason we like Thermatex infrared is because... Normal he a normal heating pad only penetrates 
like a few millimeters. It's basically skin deep. That's on this side. What the Thermodex penetrates is you got 2.36 inches. 2.36 inches, which you can see if you put that up against the spine, that's going to penetrate into the joints itself. Sure. And that's where you're going to get some great benefit as right. opposed to just really going skin deep. Right. Uh, you know, surface. the muscles around the spine, you know, you're getting, you've got an inch or inch and a half of muscle depending on the person and, you know, how they're built. But this allows that penetration to get through that. Uh, and it's, that's what, we're, that's what we're looking for. Yeah, so it looks a little bit strange. I mean, I, I, I don't do this around the work office, but I do it uh, at home in sure. my home office. But uh, we've had people here, though. We've had people, we had a nurse that said, oh, I can't do that. And she ended up putting it on because, I mean, she was hurting so bad right. and, and it gave her relief. So let's go, uh, we'll show you some things that, and we have a link below for that, but we'll show you some things you can do with uh, for very low cost here. One of the first things you can do is uh, just go ahead and correct your posture by doing chin tucks. So a lot of times it's that forward head rounded out right. posture. So throughout the day, what you're gonna do is you're gonna get back into the right position and you're gonna do what we call chin tucks. Brad and I have shown people this probably 7 million times now. <laughs> exactly. And it's important that you get good posture with your low back and shoulders first and then do the chin tuck. Right. You don't um, want to be like this and then go in chin tucks. Right, good point, right. Brad. You want to get up into good posture and then go ahead. And what's nice about these, you can do these at the office. You can do them anywhere. You can do them in your car. That's I right. I do them there. regularly yep. in my car. And uh, it, 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 you don't want to be going down like this or up like this. You're going just straight back. Right, right. It's a reminder and it's a stretch at the same time. There you go. So. The other one, should I jump into the yep. ball right away, Brad? Get a, get about a six or eight inch ball, and it's desirable to have one a little soft. This one's actually a little flat, and that works out good. Yeah. If you get a hard, firm one like a, a soccer ball or a basketball, it's not going to work very well. Right. And this works great because you can move it onto different levels. So you can start. This actually is not going to work for me. I'm too tall, Brad. You want to grab well, this the chair? chair's too short. Well, one of the two. <laughs> so, well, what's out there? We're gonna grab a different chair. We Brad, we're gonna have Brad. You jump into it because sure. you're shorter than I am. All right. Uh, uh, my mic thing is getting in the way. Let's see if I can do this. I knew you were oh. gonna do that. I just <laughs> this is how long I've worked with Brad. I knew he was gonna do that. Well, you know, it's kind of fun. <laughs> Adds a little excitement to the day. That's right. I'm gonna start in the low, uh, lower trap area, and I like to go like this or. Oh, like this, but so you're getting your, your pecs to stretch you over the shoulders. And I, I'm going to do a little chin tuck at the same time. And then I'm going to roll back. Oh, yeah. So you get a little bit of neck action too by doing it all sure. at once. Yep. And you're stretching. Yeah. These th are the things that are going to pull you over tight pe 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 pectoralis major. Um, those are all going to pull you over to that bad posture and make it difficult to get out of it. So, so. I'm going up about as high as I, I'm going to. And also, it's really important that you breathe and relax. If you do this with uh, shallow breathing, you won't relax. You won't get near the benefits and the stretch won't be as effective. So, uh, yeah, this yeah. was developed by one of our PTAs came up with this idea, yeah. uh, physical therapist assistance. We used to just have people do it over the back of a chair, and, and now we have them do it uh, using the ball. Yeah, it's so. just more comfortable and it's more specific. So uh, there you go. Here, catch. <laughs> uh, all right, next one. Uh, Brad, you just need a, a ball. I really like this one. Yeah. Take a tennis ball and a towel. And uh, you're, what you're going to do, you're going to hit like six different spots. You're going to lay on it. Brad, why don't you face that toward me? Right yeah. Here? yeah. We can show on here. So I like to hit here. I'll show with the ball. Here, 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 and here. And uh, Brad said, you know, he mentioned here, we can also put two balls into a sock. And actually, you can get double at the same time. Right. You can, you can go well, on, on each side of the spine, and you could just go right down the spine and, and yeah, do it with, with less time. Yeah, I'll, I'll show them with uh, with, can, with you the get, towel. can you get down on the floor? Now you can do this on carpeted floor. I wouldn't do it on a hard floor. So we we got a little mat down. Um, yeah, and if you're just starting, and if you have poor posture, you may need a pillow too. Yeah, because this is going to be too intense for you to 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 try without one. So I've got the tennis ball. You can go directly on the tennis ball without the towels, but if you haven't done it before, you may want to get a little cushion there. I'm going to start on the left side, on the third spot, down closest to the belt line. 
and I'm going to work that. You may work this for 30 seconds. It's up to you. Could and then at some point, Ooh. Brad, you let your head down and you bring your arms back. Uh, yeah. Oh, I just cavitated, Bob. I got yep. a nice crack. So, yep. And then you, that's that's there the final go. position you want to be in. I don't know how that feels for you, Brad. You have pretty decent posture, so I'm sure you can tolerate this okay. Yeah. There's a lot of people that won't be able to tolerate yeah. that. I'm going to do it without the towels. I mean, it's a little easier to get more specific. And I, you know, I, but I, I've done this and it's fine. Right. For me. It actually feels a little bit better. Now, you're going to do that on both sides of the spine in that um, the muscle part, you know, it's the, between the scapula we call and the paraspinals. Yeah. yeah. And in the spine itself. Now, I've done this myself and I've had patients do this where you put, just put two tennis balls in the sock like that, and then you can get both at the same time. And you can, kind of, it works pretty good because they'll roll together. And I can roll as long as your t shirt doesn't get <laughs> rolled up with it. Yet. Yeah. But that's there, and that's looking good now. Um, so that's an option. You can do however you'd Again, like. Again, do. don't be shocked if this is way too you know, uh, intense for you. Uh, again, yeah. the towel will soften it, and so will a pillow underneath your head. Yeah, so right. try some of these things, and I think we can, you know, knock that trap pain down or there you eliminate go. it. So remember, Brad and I can fix this about Except anything. Except for step apart, a broken heart. But time so got away on us. I yeah, thought it, it was under 10. We're working on yeah. it. <laughs> working on that, too. Yeah.